Hey everybody, we are here to talk about ivermectin and colon cancer. Let's get into it. All right, so ivermectin, you may have heard about this uh, in the news lately. We are not, very specifically not, talking about anything regarding a recent pandemic that shall not be named. Uh, but uh, I do think this medication has gotten a bad rap. And so I want to unpack some research that's been going on between ivermectin and colon cancer. So that's what we are here to do. Again, I am not a doctor. Anything I say should not be taken as medical advice for your specific situation. Always discuss with your doctor before making any uh, major changes to your cancer treatment plan. So today what we're going to talk about is uh, what is ivermectin, kind of the history of it as a medication, uh, its more recent uses in cancer, uh, and then just lay out a couple key questions for you to ask your doctor if you're interested in moving forward with ivermectin in your plan. And so I really want to equip you with a couple things to get you started. All right, but let's start with what is ivermectin. So Ivermectin was first discovered in 1970 uh, by two researchers, one named Satoshi Amura and another William Campbell. Uh, and it was an unusual bacteria that uh, Satoshi Amura found near a golf course in Japan. He sent it off to William Campbell, who did some uh, testing with it and discovered some really interesting things. It was very, very effective in treating a wide range of parasites. It actually won the Nobel Prize in 2015 as what was called a wonder drug for parasitic diseases in both veterinary and human environments. And really incredible discovery that it's had a lot of powerful impact in people's lives. Again, there has been some controversial uses suggested in uh, COVID-19 cases specifically. Not even going to touch that with a 30-foot pole. We are just talking about ivermectin as a medication and its effect on uh, colon cancer. All right, let's take a look at ivermectin's uses in cancer. So colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer worldwide today. Ivermectin has been shown to possess different anti-inflammation, antiviral, and anti-tumor properties. Now, a study out of Henan University in China evaluated the application of ivermectin on colon cancer proliferation specifically, and that's the study I want to look at. So the results, um, I'll link below to the details, but the results were that ivermectin inhibited the proliferation of colon cancer cells by arresting the tumor cell cycle, so, so getting the tumor cell cycle on a, a what we call a healthy course where it dies out. You know, uh, uh, that's one major thing in most cancer cells is their death switch is turned off. So they don't ever have something that communicates with them to die off. And so as they multiply and multiply, the problem gets worse and worse uh, rather aggressively. And so uh, ivermectin was shown to arrest that tumor cell cycle. It also change the morphology, which is really like the shape and behavior of the cancer cells. So it specifically um, changed how the cancer cells were structured and made them more weak from a structure standpoint. And then finally, ivermectin induced apoptosis. That's that uh, programmed cell death cycle. It induced apoptosis in colon cancer cells by doing a few things. It increased caspase activity, which is uh, a hormone that communicates with, with cells to move into apoptosis, as well as affecting the expression of apoptosis-related proteins that had a similar effect. So a really effective medication to induce that apoptosis cycle from a few different angles. All right, so uh, this, is, this is cutting edge information. This research is just coming out in the last few months. Uh, so there's a lot to figure out still. There's a lot that has not been decided upon, but that is intriguing. And when you're in the midst of a cancer fight, um, 
cutting edge can be something very worth talking with your doctor about as new things are discovered in the medical realm. And so I want to leave you with just a few suggested questions to ask your doctor if anything that I've said here is intriguing to you in your situation. So here are the three questions. Have you, my doctor, have you reviewed the research regarding colon cancer and ivermectin? Hopefully that one's self-explanatory. You want to understand when you ask them the next questions, have they actually looked into it or is there a gut response happening here? Particularly because, again, ivermectin has a complicated social stigma right now. So question two, what are your thoughts on adding ivermectin to my cancer treatment plan? Okay, so assuming they have researched, okay, what do you think? If they haven't researched, ask them to research so that you can ask the next question. And then third, what dose and frequency would you recommend and why? So again, as this research is happening, uh, doctors are trying different doses to see what effects they can have. Um, Rachel actually just started ivermectin as a part of her treatment plan based on our conversations with her doctor up in Seattle. And uh, and we have a specific dose that that we are trying, but we're also seeing how she tolerates it and, and how it's going and may make adjustments as we need to. So this is very new science that we are keeping an eye on ourselves because we are in the colon cancer world and it's very important to us. And we wanted to share these things with you as we are learning together. If you have any questions or specific thoughts, uh, maybe you have talked with your doctor about this, maybe they have uh, additional information to look into, we would love to hear from you and continue to broaden our overall knowledge base together. But with that, I have nothing else to share on ivermectin at this moment. So we will talk to you soon.